Good day and welcome to Business Connect India. My name is A.R. Khan and our guest today is Mr. Umar Balwa. It's an honor to have with us a leading personality who has consumed himself for the betterment of sealing technology in India. Thank you Mr. Balwa for accepting our invitation. The pleasure is all mine and thank you for the wonderful and the generous uh, introduction given to me. I, I would not have said it in a better way. Thank you so much. How do you see the current mechanical seal market evolving in India? If you look at the mechanical seal market in India, it uh, evolved or it started uh, from the 1970s, early 70s, when uh, there were only two international players and joined by one indigenous manufacturer uh, in the country. Since 1970s and uh, when we talk about 2022, the uh, seal industry has evolved uh, leaps and bounds. When I started out in 1989, uh, the mechanical seal market was close to about 15 crores and today the size of the market is 1,600 crores and when you look at the global uh, size of the market in 1980s it was uh, close to about 300 million dollars and today it is close to about 4, 4 billion dollars and on uh, a top of it uh, the Indian industry is growing at a rapid pace uh, it is a 3 trillion uh, economy uh, uh, the Honorable Prime Minister of India has a vision to grow it up to 5 trillion economy and hence uh, we see a great uh, demand for mechanical seals. Uh, having said uh, that, if you look um, at the historic uh, you know, evolution of the Indian industry, uh, mechanical seals uh, included in that, uh, there was um, um, a bureaucracy, there was uh, you know, a license to uh, get technology from foreign uh, companies, uh, which was difficult to get it uh, prior to 1992. Uh, after the economy opened up in 1992, uh, companies had access to technology from foreign companies. Foreign companies could invest uh, uh, with the majority stakes uh, in India. Uh, people could buy uh, plant and machinery uh, without any licenses. And hence, uh, if you look at the evolution of the mechanical steel industry, it has come a long way. What are the major factors driving the growth of mechanical steel industry? If I were to you know, pinpoint uh, the major factors which would drive uh, the growth of mechanical steel industry uh, would be the coal sector. Uh, coal sector in sense would be uh, refineries, oil and gas, uh, chemical, petrochemical, power plants, both uh, nuclear and uh, uh, thermal. So th this is the basic uh, you know, driver for the growth in mechanical steel industry in India. So what are the major expectations of customers from Sealmatic in this space? Uh, this is a difficult uh, industry uh, to be in. Uh, the expectations from customers are very precise and uh, specific. So unless and until uh, you don't have a proven track record or you don't have the application know-how or, or the ability to do a uh, failure analysis, troubleshooting, installation and training uh, of their employees and their site, you don't stand a chance uh, in this industry. So uh, when you talk about customer expectation, they are very, very high and the barriers to enter a customer's uh, premises to pitch your sale is absolutely so high that it's difficult to cross that barrier. The expectations uh, of customers uh, in a refinery or, or, or uh, oil and gas uh, would be extremely stringent. And so these are the kind of requirements that one has to cope with when you are applying your mechanical seals. How do you meet customers' expectations? You cannot meet anybody's expectation in life. So uh, customers are very choosy, very demanding uh, when it comes to mechanical seal. The seals have to perform under arduous uh, conditions. And uh, sometimes the temperatures can exceed more than uh, 350 degrees centigrade. Uh, pressures can um, uh, go up to 100 kg per centimeter square. And uh, you know sizes can be as big as half a meter. So when you talk about this entire you know spectrum, of uh, offering a mechanical seal, it is, it is challenging and the customer's expectations have to be met. So we took a conscious uh, decision when we, when we started out. We uh, designed our entire manufacturing unit uh, based on international standards and specification courtesy of our you know, experience with a, a leading German company with whom we worked for more than 17 years. So that helped us to establish uh, an international company in India. Apart from that, we took a very conscious decision to get our company uh, certified by API Q1 uh, 
uh, by ATAX, by uh, GMP, uh, by uh, you know PED and a host of other uh, certification which is uh, uncommon uh, uh, in our industry and we have taken the trouble uh, and the pain to get ourselves certified uh, with these certifications and I would be proud to say that we are only one uh, who has been certified uh, with the mentioned certificates. Apart from that we recently got recognized by the uh, Department of Science and Industrial Research. Um, our uh, manufacturing unit uh, has, a, has a significant investment into an R&D unit within the unit and uh, this has been recognized and approved by the Ministry of Science and Technology. So this speaks volume about our investment uh, into uh, research and development and meeting customers' expectations. How is Sealmatic positioned in this segment? Uh, we are positioned uh, quite comfortably. Uh, we would say that we are second to none. Uh, we export our products to more than 45 countries. We are approved by all the leading engineering companies, not only in India, across the globe. When we talk about OEM, we work with the leading OEMs such as BHA, KSB, Sulda, Ribara, and uh, many more. When we talk about end users, we work with uh, the Reliance, we work with Nuclear Power, we work with uh, NTPC, we work with Gale, ICL, BPCL, HPCL. So if you talk about our positioning uh, in the market, we are well accepted as a brand, we are well accepted uh, in our offerings, and our technology is respected and accepted universally. What are the major factors that set you apart from the other players in this segment? Yeah, if I have to sit down and make a comparison, it would be so unfair. Uh, uh, and uh, if I really sit down and make a list, it would be uh, huge. But I'll just give a gist of uh, what uh, sets us apart uh, from indigenous manufacturers. Uh, we have invested a uh, huge amount of time, money and energy into uh, various uh, you know, segments of this uh, uh, manufacturing process. May it be designing, may it be intricate uh, manufacturing processes, may it be uh, software, hardware, and uh, and host of other things. Uh, if, you, if you take a sum total of this investment, uh, it will be much bigger than a small uh, seal company operating out of India. Uh, we have taken conscious decisions to involve ourselves and uh, invest uh, into state-of-the-art uh, tools uh, for example, we have tools such as uh, MSG, which is a mechanical seal guide. Uh, you, you click uh, a particular uh, item about mechanical seal and it, it will give you an answer to that. Then we have a seal selection guide. So you just uh, uh, come with your uh, operating parameters and we will be able to recommend a seal based on the research that we have done. And application uh, know-how is again one more tool which maps all the industrial applications that we have done in the last uh, uh, 30 years. So we are having more than 100,000 industrial applications that can be mapped to the current requirement of a, of a customer. So uh, this uh, sets us apart from indigenous manufacturers and we have marched, I would say, light years ahead of, of the local competition. What innovation does Silmatic bring to the table? I think innovation is uh, a very important aspect of, uh, of life. Uh, we need to innovate ourselves. So the same applies to any company. Without innovation, you cease to evolve. So uh, when we talk about uh, critical applications uh, uh, involving mechanical seals, uh, we have done a lot of innovation. We have invested into uh, research and development. We have the latest tools uh, which guide us to recommend the proper mechanical seal which would work under difficult and challenging conditions. Uh, apart from that, uh, various innovation that we've done uh, at our uh, uh, manufacturing unit in uh, Bombay is that we have a highly trained uh, uh, team of 200 people and every employee goes through a stringent training program which can vary from three weeks to three months. So that's the kind of you know investment and commitment that we make uh, to our customers. And one thing that we have promised to our customers is to innovate. To innovate from the traditional way of recommending applying mechanical seals to a modern way of, of applying mechanical seals, thus uh, creating efficiency, uh, saving cost for the customers and giving a uh, longer uh, mean time between failures. So, what is the future roadmap for Silmatic India? 
and how is the company gearing up for the same? Any company without a roadmap or more fumble in its journey and we have a clear defined roadmap for the company. So when we talk about a roadmap, uh, we would be entering our next year um, in April and uh, that would also herald the new uh, decade for us. Um, a decade uh, full of uh, uh, interesting things uh, that we have uh, uh, put in the pipeline, uh, not only for our customers, but uh, also uh, for our employees, for our stakeholders, uh, for our shareholders. And uh, uh, we are committed uh, to make uh, Silmatic um, an international company. Um, uh, I see no reason why an Indian company cannot be respected and valued uh, in Europe or in America or in Japan. So that's the next phase for us to make Silmatic as an international brand. Sir, is there anything else you would like to add? Yes, uh, once a Silman, always a Silman. Mm -hmm.